Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, Surveying with Robert's Tuesday tip. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to use an Android phone and how to uh, log static data on a receiver. Now I'm using an R8S, but you can use uh, all the way back to 5800. Any Trimble GPS unit that has Bluetooth on it, this app will work. And it's called the Trimble DL app. Now unfortunately, this is not on uh, the, what do they call it, iOS, not on Apple. It's only on Google. So you gotta go to the Google Play Store in order to find this app. So I picked this phone up down at Walmart. Um, God, I don't remember what I paid for it. 25 bucks, 50 bucks, something, I, I don't remember. But um, what you need to do is just go down and get a, uh, maybe you guys already have Android phones, right? So uh, all you need is an Android phone, Google Play Store, download the Trimble DL app. So here's what we're gonna do today. We are going to, as soon as I figure out how to make this thing work, because I'm not a not a Google guy, so um, so we're going to uh, go into this Trimble DL. Now I've already downloaded everything and installed it on this phone, so let's go in to Trimble DL. Okay. So once I'm in here, once I figure out how to make this thing work, there it goes. Oop. No, I don't want to exit. Okay, first thing it's asking us to do is connect to the receiver. Now, I'm not real familiar with this app. Uh, I'm normally using a data collector. But for some of you guys that um, that want to be able to go out and just slog some static data. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to do this, how to connect up to it and everything. So right now, first things first. Okay, so we've got the uh, Trimble DL app fired up here. I think we do. This crazy phone like turns itself off or something or goes into sleep mode. Anyways, connect to receiver. Okay, it says currently connected. So let's uh, let's see if we can delete this so that we can look and see how the Bluetooth works on this thing. So one thing I noticed is, is probably the phone and the quality of the phone. These cheap phones sometimes have a hard time uh, connecting to the Bluetooth and it takes several tries in order to get it. Um, let's see what this crazy thing is going to do here. Okay, let's keep looking. Sooner or later it pops up. Oh, okay. So it's found the R8, so now if I select that, it says connecting to R8S, that's the receiver. And like I say, sometimes these things can be a little contrary with this cheap phone. Okay, there it is, so I've connected to the receiver, so now, what I want to do is measure point. Okay, so point name, I can give this a, um, let's just call it, how in the world do you make capitals on this thing? CP, one, point code, let's call it base. My height is 2.25 meters to the uh, two meters plus a 0.25 meter pole here. So I'm gonna say, measure the bottom of antenna mount, serial number, all that good stuff. Yep. So I can set a timer on this thing if I can get rid of this keyboard, I can say static logging 15 seconds and I can set a timer on it if I want to, but the problem with setting the timer on it is, is that um, once I walk away from Bluetooth from his phone, it won't shut it off. But so if I wanted to do like straight up two hours and 15 minutes, I could do that, but I've got to leave this thing by the, uh, by the data collector. I mean, by the receiver. 
So right now, I'm gonna say start. It says survey is already running, but I am not logging. There it goes. Yeah, I am. I'm logging static data. Okay, so cool. So I'm logging static data. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, give this a little bit of time, and then I'm gonna download this file. I'm going to uh, email it to myself, and then I'm gonna send it to the GNSS processor, and we're going to um, actually process the data, okay? So uh, let's just wait. About two hours, two hours and 15 minutes to get a position. What do you think? Okay. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, guys. So it's probably been a couple hours now. Um, so we're going to get back into the Trimble DL app. And I'm going to show you guys how to send this file off. So, or I hope I'm going to show you guys how to send this file off. So uh, what we want to do is connect to receiver. So we've got this receiver right here. If I tap, it should say connecting. So it should be connecting to the receiver. And let's see how long it takes the Bluetooth to connect. Okay, so we're gonna go back into our measure point screen on our phone, upper right-hand corner of the screen, three little dots, we're gonna hit it. We're gonna say resume survey. Do you want to resume an unclosed observation? Resume, okay? So we're gonna go back to that survey. We're gonna to try to go back to that survey. Do you want to resume an unclosed observation? Resume. Okay, so um, looks like I've had it out here about an hour, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and Send it off anyways. If I don't send this file off, I'll send off another one. But anyways, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to say store. Occupation time is not elapsed. That's probably because I had it set on two hours. Remember the, the uh, time thing I was telling you about? We're just going to say store. Okay, so I've stored that file. Now let's see what our options are. I think somewhere in here I can tell it to send that file, let's see, there it is, email data file. So there's the files that's on here. So we've got November the 17th, there's the size, if I select it, I say email, it says please enter a valid email address. Oh, there's my email address right there. Uh, at dot com. Okay. Email. Starting your to import files. So it should be downloading the files from the uh, from the receiver, and then it should email it to my email address. Let's see what happens here. Like I said, I'm kind of new at this myself. So it stopped logging data. How you know it's logging data at that power light? Remember what I said, that power light has to be flashing like a heartbeat. If that power light is flashing like a heartbeat, then um, so there's the file, T02, blah, 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 send, okay. Sending message. Okay, so what I did was, now you can send this to like a Google Drive or whatever, but I just emailed it to, uh, to myself. So uh, what you guys wanna do, once you email it to yourself, then we're gonna bring it into the uh, GNSS processor and we're gonna take and um, send that off to Opus, okay? So let's do that real quick. We'll take this into the office and see what happens. So, okay, so let's shut this thing down and let's go in there and see what's happening. Okay, so uh, just recorded that static data and uh, emailed the file from my Android phone to my NEI email address. So um, I'm gonna take that T02 file and I'm gonna send it off 
to the GNSS processor. GNSS processor. So what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to grab that email and send it over here to this side. So I'm gonna grab this and um, I'm just going to uh, drop and drag it in here right off my email. There it is, boom. Okay, so it says I've successfully sent the file. So if I say next, Gives me all my information, right? There's my file name, uh, Trimble, uh, GNSS Observer. I probably could set up my own name in there, who knows? Anyways, uh, observation, uh, duration, it was one hour, 59 minutes and 15 seconds. I almost got two hours out of it. Um, the receiver was Trimble R8S. Uh, point name, I probably just gave it a point name. I don't really remember what I did. Uh, manufacturer Trimble, antenna type R8S, bottom antenna mount, blah, blah, blah. I say next. It says select a processor. I select Opus. I say next. Now it wants me to add an email address in there. So I've already emailed this to, um, to my um, Gmail account, actually. So let's, uh, let's see if I can find that Gmail account real quick. I'll jump over here on the other screen. And it is uh, Gmail. Let's see what it tells me. Probably should have already had this opened. Wrong accounts, what I figured. Let's do this one. There it is. I actually have sent it off twice. How's that for you? So uh, there's our solution. Uh, what I did is I just put in email address surveying with Robert at gmail.com and here's my Opus solution. This is my XML file. So my XML file is what I would use to bring into Business Center, like if I'm gonna crack some points up or something. So um, that's it. I mean, I you know log the data, started, stopped with the phone, downloaded the file to the phone, and then emailed the file to um, to myself. And then, you know, from there I can send it off to Opus and process the data. So, what about? That's it. Pretty cool, huh? Man. Okay. So, um, as always, like and subscribe. God bless. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Appreciate you watching.